got them, don't you worry. As I glance up at the camera to make sure it caught that unfortunate piece of action, I think it's really important to remember that these rams are not kicking out because they're in any sort of pain. It is because they're big, strong and feel that they can get away from us. Which, in James's case, was true. These sheep are herbivores so they're naturally terrified of everything. It's a survival technique, so there's nothing we can really do to get rid of that fear on the board, it's a new experience for them. We just need to try and hold on and make them as comfortable as possible. Okay, so we're on a this isn't my trailer, but I am very familiar with this trailer. Sure, on here a lot. And we're going to share this big Hampshire sheep. Now, these can be quite fiery. Let's hope that's not the case today. Oh. Oh. I've got them, don't you worry. It's all, part, it's all part of the act. It's all part of the act. We synchronised that, that took ages to learn, but you banged there, that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's like any scene strictly come dancing. It's a 10 from Len. <sighs> okay, so I need to talk to it now. Now that we've got them calmed down, so obviously that wasn't planned. They're very fiery, they can kick like mad, so I'm very conscious that he might go at any time. I'm working round his peasel just now, which is Another name for his, his willy and there's some dry kind of tougher wool here It's maybe going to pull at him a little bit so I'm conscious that this might annoy him I'm taking my time trying to get this off without upsetting him I might come back and clean that a bit better on the last side because realistically I want to get out of this position as soon as I can Clean off these legs here and down round the crutch Moving his testicles out the way as we go. His scrotum. His poke, as we might call it in the sheep world. Now I'm not a skilled woolly shearer like some guys you see in New Zealand Australia. So I like to put her around a little bit. I don't have any set pattern like I should have. But we always get there eventually. Next up, we can shit this excess wool. Off of his scrotum. Manscaping, ramscaping, I think you call this. Watching for those extra bits of skin. Any guys watching this might know how this, uh, how intense this is. And let's go out the leg now and get them turned round to start doing this undermine. So things should be a little bit easier now. That's always the worst part of of shearing a ram is getting all round all that kind of pickly stuff, if we call it that. Rocking them over. If it, the more I can do this just now, the better. And come down and polish that off. Now I've got the head to deal with. As you can see, that's quite woolly. I've got myself out of position already. So I should just turn the blows over there. There. I don't want to upset him. He's got a wee horn here or something to catch him. Another blow. You can tell I'll never make a merino shear up. Stepping up, I'm not going to put my foot through here in case he kicks because he'll throw me off the trailer. Taking the blow up the neck, watching not to cut that ear because that's that's a really easy thing to do in these sheep. Just attach that ear. So let's take that blow round there, round there. Brushing this wool down to try and get a, as much of it off in one go. And once I get this clear, they'll step in between his legs and bring him round to where I want him. Yeah. 
nice sweeping blows onto the long blow. He's sitting very well and it's all about me not upsetting him. Trying to keep him comfortable. We've had a little set too as you saw at the start. I won that one. Hopefully that's the, the alpha male decided. And in this instance, I'm the alpha male. Nice, makes a change. Usually when I'm at home, Lizzie's the alpha male, so that's quite nice. Clean off the cheek. In and around the ear, try to make a tidy job if we can. Now another tricky part of the sheep, I'm going to have to try and stand him up. i have not stand him up, but get him back up. And now his weight's falling away from me here. Oh, steady boy, steady. Okay, I think we've, we've got away with it. Clear the wool off all of this. Back up here for the bits you missed. If you're going to do a job, it's worth doing it right. Make it tidy. Now I spoke earlier about coming back for this later. Let's just have a wee go at that there. That's enough. That's plenty. Last few little blows. Out the legs. I really don't want them kicking out now. Come on, boy. We're so close. Oh, there you go, that's plenty, there you go, you ready? Go, go, go! It really is that simple. That's another two breeds ticked off. Blueface Leicester, traditional, in the Hampshire. See you for the next one. Cup of tea. Cup of tea.